Hello everyone, this is Colossius, and I am back with some exciting news. I finally did it. I got the prototype done. Uh, so what that means is basically I got the prototype for my multiplayer Go server done. So all I have to do is actually check the description in this video, and you can actually go ahead and click it and download it. So I'm going to walk you through the installation, and that way you can play with yourself and a friend. I will say there's pretty much no one on it at the moment because it is very, very, very much in alpha stages and still a prototype nonetheless. Even though it is a Go server, it's still not a Go server yet. I mean, this is this is a baby Go server. Um, so yeah, go ahead and click that link in the description and that should bring you up to this and all you have to do is click download right here, which I've already done. So I'll go ahead and go back up to my downloads. Uh, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, downloads. Uh, I just helped someone install this earlier and they were having a little bit of trouble. So I was like, let's make a video sharing the news and show people how to download it. Uh, so all you have to do is do, 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 do world of go server WOGS wogs. Get the wogs. There we go. So all you're going to do is get this zip file. And if you don't have a zip uh, file opener, and this is for the PC, of course, if you need uh, one for the Mac or for the Linux, just send me a message on our Discord, which I'll also leave in the description below. And I'll be happy to make you a copy. Uh, I am very much seeking feedback and some testers for this prototype to, let pe uh, to see what people think. Um, and yeah. So yeah, uh, right now this is for the Windows version, uh, but Mac and Linux is available. If you guys want it, just request it. Uh, but yeah, so this is very important. When you open this to extract it, make sure you don't open the folder because you need all this stuff. Uh, I put this in a folder to make it easy for you to not lose anything. Uh, so all you have to do is just select that and click Extract, and then you will choose a location. That's Downloads. Um, and what that will give you is your... Uh, data. So let me go ahead and extract that to my downloads. Doot. I thought I already had it, but I guess I think I put it on my desktop. Oh, I do already have it. Uh, yes to all. Uh, so what you can do is put it in your desktop, um, and if it doesn't uh, extract with the folder, you can potentially you can just make your own folder and extract all the stuff into your own custom folder. Uh, and once I open it, I'll show you what what I mean by that. Where is that? Where's it at? This is why I put it on the desktop. I'm going to the desktop. Forget it. <laughs> I don't know where it went. Um, this is why I put, it on, so put stuff on the desktop. All right, so I have mine and my programs. Um, it was BGS. It was the beginner go server. Now it's WOGS. All right, so when you get your WOGS folder, and if it doesn't extract to a folder, then you can create your own folder. Just simply uh, right-click wherever you are, either desktop or wherever. Just click New and create a folder and name it whatever you want. But in this folder, you will have all this stuff. This stuff is very important. It has to be together. You need all of this. The multiplayer right here, this is the executable. This is the program file. Just open this, and it'll it'll launch um, every time, pretty much. Um, and if you get an error, then make sure that you install it, that you actually didn't extract it. Uh, that was the that was what the person I was helping uh, didn't do was they were looking into the zip file, but they didn't extract it. So you have to extract it. Uh, so if you want to create the shortcut somewhere, so let's say you want to put all of this in your program files 86 or whatever, and you extract it there, that's perfectly fine. All you have to do is actually just right click this and you can create a shortcut. And this shortcut you can put wherever. I can put this shortcut on my desktop, uh, and then I can just run it from here. And I have my little Clossy Link icon. It's just a staple icon until I, I get something else figured out. Uh, this is just a Clossy Link icon, and yeah, there you go. And that's that's it. You can get you can uh, do your window size. Uh, I put mine on Ultra because I really like it, and it's not very heavy. It's not a very heavy program. Uh, but if it does start lacking, you can uh, lower the settings here. Uh, but I don't think it should lag. If it, if it lags, let me know. I, I want to know these things. That way I can make sure that everyone has easy access to this Go server and can play on it without any difficulty. So yeah, if it lags, if there's any bugs, if there's anything wrong, uh, let me know. I really want to know these things, and I really want to take this Go server in a direction that everyone wants, so feature requests and all that good stuff. Um, you also can create a report right here. Uh, this is something that Unity has built in that I just enabled. Uh, and this just leaves a button like on every scene. And when you create a report, it will give me like the logs and everything uh, as well. And this will just email it to me. 
Um, but otherwise, you can just join the Discord right here. So if you do get the Go server and don't click the Discord link in the description, you can just click it right here. And this will open it up to join our Discord for the World of Go. All right, so this is the World of Go server. So we do, 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 do. And if you've seen my previous uh, videos on this, oh, that might have been a little bit loud. Sorry about that. Um, if there's anything wrong with the audio, if you uh, let me know what you guys think about the audio, about the sounds, about the visibilities, about the user interface, everything. I want to know all your feedback. I don't really want a lot of criticism. I just want you know constructive criticism constructive feedback so that way i can make this go server good for you guys so there's a few things to know about the server the server is still in alpha so please report bugs and if you have feature requests request those in the discord uh, and i'll let you know here in a minute about the direction i want to take this uh, we are using a modified chinese rule set which is uh, uh, the rule set i was using when i was teaching children in schools basically the stones do count as points and the area counts as points so there are you don't really have any captures or anything when you, when stones are removed they're removed and you don't really keep up with them so the score is area plus stones on the board so the area is any area that is surrounded by a single color is considered area and there is a stone removal phase um, if you're a beginner I do have it uh, so if you're a beginner the reason I chose this rule set specifically is if you're a beginner all you have to do is just play it out and you will not lose any points for removing the stones in your area or playing out a sequence. You won't lose any points for that because stones are still points. So if you're unsure, just play it out. Otherwise, you will have the stone removal phase where you click the stones that you want to remove and they'll get little X's on them. And then when you click uh, confirm, it will score, it will remove those and then score any area surrounded by one color and add it to the amount of stones you have on the board and that will be your points. Comey is seven and a half points so white will have seven and a half point Comey. This is because we're using a uh, modified Chinese rules and we also have capture go. Capture go rules I did change one thing about it and that is you cannot pass. You cannot pass. I always found this weird in capture go where you just passed and made a tie. Well now it's not gonna be a tie. Someone's gonna lose. And that's the way Go should be, in my opinion. There should always be a winner. So Capture Go, uh, you cannot pass. You cannot tie. You can only play until you resign or get captured or capture something. Uh, if there is a, if there's no move left on the board aside from a suicide move, you won't be allowed to play anything. All you'll be able to do is click resign. So yeah, either you capture something or you're gonna lose. Um, and while you're playing the game, this is just some settings. This is the numbers one through five on your keyboard. So this is above the letters on your keyboard. This is not the number pad. Uh, and that will change your camera view and other features coming soon. All right. So up here, you can select territory or capture go. We have both of these in right now. I do eventually want to add uh, another setting for, um, the modifications. I'm gonna, I think I'm, I'm thinking about calling them mods or you have mods right here and another drop down and it could be none. Uh, and I'm thinking of, rather than having these like um, a rule set or anything, just rather have them a modification. And what I want to, what I would love to see happen is when people want to mod a game in a certain way, they can give me mods to add to the server and I can easily add those to the server if I have a mod set up or if someone has mods, they just want to add to the uh, server files and want to mod it themselves. I mean, I would love to see that happen. Uh, so the mods that I'm wanting to add is, uh, for starters, is one color go and uh, blind go. I think that would be a lot of fun. And since it's a, if it's a mod on the server, then everyone that joins your room will be forced to play under the same rules. So this will be the first go server that you can play blind go and one color go but your opponent also has to play blind go one color go again uh, as well. So it will be, uh, I, I want to say it's the first go server. I think something someone's done one color go before, but I think it's the first go server that's done blind go, like enforced blind go where both sides can't see the stones. Uh, the way that will work is you will only see the last move played and the stone graphics for all the other moves will be invisible. So yeah, uh, right now there is multiple board sizes. Um, we have the 19 by 19, 13 by 13, 9 by 9, the basic three. And then we'll have 21, 17, 15, 11, 7, and 5. Uh, I added these smaller boards simply to help beginners. And eventually what I want to do is create a, uh, a rating system where 
you have to get up to 15Q to play on the 9x9. So 30Qs would start on 5x5, uh, maybe 28Qs go up to 7x7, and then every few ranks you go up a board size. And you can play uh, Territory Go or Capture Go or whatever, but like if it's rated, so let's say rated Territory Go, well, beginners, absolute beginners, like brand new players, would start on a 5x5. Five five. And so this is going back to my original uh, direction for the server. Uh, was to make it very beginner friendly because I want a server that really uh, helps and encourages new players. But I also wanted a server that let experienced players have a lot of fun too. So I went for, instead of the beginner Go server, I changed direction to the world of Go. So now I'm hoping to be inclusive to not only beginners but experienced players to have a lot of fun on here as well and that would be the mods so right now i do have capture go uh and i'm hoping to get one color and blind go here shortly and that will pretty much be a good um setup to show kind of the kind of the uh, idea of the server of just being able to play play games on the server with other people and um being able to play different go variations and guy uh, sizes and everything else and having hopefully a lot of fun on here that's the that's the goal right now though you will have to play with a friend um so once you click create it will load up a board and you can change views right now i have this annoying menu in the way <laughs> but when someone joins this menu will disappear and this is what i mean about the different go angles um and the stones will load just fine you will have um you'll have stone actually 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 i do have i do have something up so we can show you guys i'll go ahead and load this up and show you guys exactly what i mean Okay, apparently it'll be faster to do this. Doot. Cat. <laughs> All right, here we are. So it's testing's turn, so I'll go ahead and play a move on this other screen. Doink. You can see there, and yeah, you can actually play from this angle. So this is so. Uh, one is the default angle, and you can play like so. Uh, but there's also two, three, four, and five. And let me actually go ahead and turn up the sounds a little bit. I want you guys to be able to hear that. Oh, you actually couldn't hear the. Yeah, yeah now you can. Now you can. Yeah, so that's this is this is it, guys. This is my Go server. Uh, so the goal of this is to eventually uh, have more stages that you can play Go in. So right now we have the campfire stage. Um, I ha did set up this Go board as an object, and this is object-oriented coding. So that means I can carry this object into other scenes, which means I can create other scenes uh, like this one and just load the Go board into it and it should work hopefully seamlessly. Uh, I will need to, of course, debug some stuff and test things, but hopefully eventually I'll have even more scenes uh, with a lot more things and yeah, hopefully it'll be really pretty and a lot of fun. I know several people have asked me about VR and I would love to let you guys play in this in VR. I think it'd be super cool and really easy to do. Just sit here and point your joystick at the Go board and it would just show you where the move is and everything. I think it'd be really easy. And then you could look around. Um, you can't, uh, all, right now you have restricted camera views. Uh, I'm debating letting, letting there be a free camera. Um, but right now it's just restricted uh, camera views. Uh, but if you wanted to have a free camera, just let me know in a feature request. Uh, but as as a VR, you'd be able to look around. You'd be able to see the stars in the sky because I do have I do have that. Um, when I was testing this, I made it uh, make sure it looked good. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have a VR, so I actually have no way to implement and test and debug 
a VR setup. <laughs> so, I mean, if someone wants to, if someone sends me a VR, I will add VR to this ghost server. I can, I will do it. But unfortunately, <laughs> I do not have a VR, uh, and I have no way of adding that. And I would love to add it in the future, but unfortunately, that is not my priority at the moment. Uh, simply because it's just not feasible, and not uh, not everyone has a VR, and I'm kind of targeting the majority right now. So, yeah. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. I would love to see you guys and play with you guys on the server, so message me on Discord. Um, I'd be happy to play some games on here and test some features out and everything. Um, oh, there is a setting button. Ignore this. This doesn't do anything at the moment. <laughs> this is a placeholder. <laughs> this is just a placeholder settings button. Um, definitely have to work on the sounds, clearly. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the Go server. All right, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, and of course, if you have any feedback, suggestions, or anything like that, you can comment below. You can join the Discord. Just let me know. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the server. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time.